Welcome to Tie and Ride, a Finance Guy's Market Mini Report, a short podcast that updates you on the past week's important topics and trends. Remember, this is not an offer to sell, and past performance does not guarantee future returns. Here are Ty Hansen and Brian Robertson. Hello, everybody, and welcome to another edition of our Market Mini. This is for the week ending June 18th. And what a week it's been. So uh, you, you may notice that there's only one of us this week here on the Market Mini. Uh, my good business partner, Ryan, and his lovely wife enjoyed, uh, are enjoying a few days off and uh, you know, uh, having a good time together and, and relaxing. So uh, we'll, we'll let Ryan enjoy some, uh, some well-deserved and well-needed downtime. And uh, I'll bring you a little bit of information on the markets this week. So... Uh, needless to say, it was quite a crazy week. Um, you know, if if, uh, if if the stock market's a roller coaster, this was definitely the the uh, the stomach dropping uh, steep drop that you know that a lot of times with the roller coasters we love. But uh, you know, unfortunately, when it's your portfolio, it's not quite as fun. Um, no, it was it was it, it, you know, in all seriousness, it was a crazy week. Um, you know, on average, the market was down about two percent. Uh, the, the, the two biggest losers were, you know, the Dow Jones and, uh, Russell 2000. So small cap and you know, more of the uh, old school value really got its butt kicked this week. Um, and, and it's, you know, this has kind of been the theme this year where, where it oscillates between, you know, tech and, 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 you know, a big push there to try and have some, you know, some excessive returns and, and take a little bit more risk and money shifting back into, um, uh, you know, value and things like that. So, um, really, though, the major thing um, that hit the markets this week were uh, you know, Chairman Powell of the Federal Reserve um, talked on Wednesday, and basically, you know, kind of a it, it's you know every every month we get the Fed report and we you know kind of hear what's going on with uh, you know where the Fed thinks that interest rates are going and inflation, things like that, right? And, and you know, the Fed will buy and sell, uh, you know, um, bonds and the mortgage backs or, you know, uh, government uh, uh, bonds and things like that to help, um, you know, kind of curb inflation or, you know, just basically manage. You know, there's a few different strategies I'll use to manage money supplies and, and manage rates and things like that in the market. So um, basically what what the fed you know kind of started to agree with is that you know yeah inflation's you know it's it's getting there and to help curb the you know the uh, an excessive you know runoff in inflation the fed's looking to um, move up the timeline of when they're going to start increasing interest rates right i mean we're in a historic low season of where you know uh, interest rates are at federal reserve rates are insanely low you know, most people listening have, you know, refinanced their house in the last couple of years and, and you know, they've, they've got rates that are just unheard of. Um, and so, you know, obviously that's, that's what the Fed's done the last, you know, 10, 15 years to help, help us through some, some pretty crazy economic times. Uh, but now it's like, okay, we got to pay the piper. We got to come back from that, right? And so it was expected, there, was, there, there, there were still some expectations that maybe 2023, 2024, were when they were going to really start those rate hikes. Well, you know, they're now coming out. Powell came out and was like, look, hey, we're probably going to have to have to move that up and, and maybe even looking at two rate increases in uh, in 2023. And we may be thinking, okay, well, great, it's 2021, so, like, what do we care? It, it's really, it's like, it's kind of this understanding of where are interest rates going, right? That's that's kind of the big uh, the big concern for the market. That's why the market's kind of, uh, kind of had a little bit of a temper tantrum this week. Um, and, and really the idea is that, you know, and, and Powell even said too that they're not they're not afraid that or, or overly concerned that this isn't just a uh, they call it a transitive or a shorter term um, uh, yeah, inflation period inflationary period. So there's still a lot of optimism and a lot of uh, sentiment that you know okay yes this we are seeing some inflation right now. Keep in mind we're coming back from historical low inflationary periods. Uh, I mean, inflation's been just just crazy the last little while. N- nonetheless, coming back from that is what's concerning to people, right? It's like, okay, well, what if this gets away from us and, and we see just insane rates or insane inflationary rates? So um, long and short, 
the uh, that that was the biggest concern is that the Fed's finally starting to say, okay, hey, look, we're gonna we're gonna adjust some of the thoughts on what we're gonna do with rising interest rates, and and we know that that inflation is a little bit more aggressive than we thought. Um, yeah, it's it, again, it's it's definitely something to to keep on our radar, um, and obviously, you know, we'll keep an eye on it as as you know as the markets progress. Um, so that's the biggest news from the week. Um, and again, that's why most people, you know, as they look at their, uh, uh, their portfolios this last week were may- maybe a little, um, little uh, downhearted. But uh, keep in mind, you know, we're, that was on the tail end of uh, goodness for the last month. The market's up over, you know, 3.5%. So, you know, again, part of that ride, it can't all be up. But, um, yeah, that's been the biggest reason this week was, uh, was the inflationary measures. So... Anyways, uh, thanks for listening. Uh, We'll be back next week, and uh, Ryan and I will have another uh, full podcast for you. And uh, also want to wish all the great fathers out there a happy Father's Day, and uh, appreciate uh, appreciate you listening. Have a great day. Thanks for listening to Ty and Ryder Finance, guys. This is our weekly market mini report. New episodes of this will be put out every Monday, so make sure you don't miss those. Also, the longer podcast, more in-depth discussions, those will drop every Saturday. So subscribe on your favorite podcast platform or follow us on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, at Ty and Rye Podcast. That way you don't miss any new episodes. Thanks for listening, everybody. Hope you have a great week.